I feel so embarrassed. I mean, I'm really starting to think things I've done here. And getting to the US, that's not gonna happen. I mean, I feel, how much more can I take? Welcome back. Michael Ilisanmi, a long-standing participant in the 90 Day Fiancé franchise, has become a fan favorite over the years, known for his calm demeanor, patience, and good-natured personality. However, after enduring several seasons marked by abuse and mistreatment, particularly at the hands of his now-estranged wife Angela Deem, Michael made the difficult decision to leave the show. His departure left a void that was felt not only by viewers, but also by TLC executives who understood his value to the show's dynamic. Now, as 90 Day Fiancé gears up for what is rumored to be its final season, Michael has reportedly been approached by TLC to make a return. The network is said to be eager to have him back, recognizing that his presence brings a sense of balance and relatability that has been missing since his exit. However, Michael is not coming back without conditions. According to sources close to him, he is prepared to involve lawyers to ensure that this time, he is treated with the respect and fairness he deserves. He is adamant that unless his demands are met, he will not be returning, and one of those demands is clear, Angela must be removed from the show. Michael's decision to leave 90 Day Fiancé did not come lightly. For years, he endured a tumultuous relationship with Angela, marked by her unpredictable mood swings, verbal assaults, and, at times, outright abuse. On multiple occasions, viewers witnessed Angela berating Michael in public, shouting at him, and belittling him in front of friends, family, and the camera crew. These incidents were not isolated, they were part of a broader pattern of behavior that saw Angela frequently exercising control over Michael, treating him more like an object of possession than a partner. Behind the scenes, things were reportedly even worse. Crew members revealed that Angela's treatment of Michael was often harsh and demeaning. She would insult him over trivial matters, accuse him of infidelity without evidence, and make outrageous demands that he felt compelled to comply with to avoid further conflict. Since you're so smart, put that back and make sure they see that one first. You did something stupid, this is a sign to me. You always do this. Angela's need for dominance created a toxic environment that made it increasingly difficult for Michael to continue his participation in the show. Despite his natural inclination to be forgiving and patient, Michael eventually reached a breaking point, realizing that his mental health and well-being were at risk. Michael's departure from the show was a quiet yet powerful statement. He did not make a public spectacle or issue any inflammatory statements, but those close to him understood the gravity of his decision. He needed a break from the constant stress and pressure of being Angela's partner on a public stage. His decision was also seen as an act of self-preservation, a step back from a situation that had become emotionally and psychologically damaging. Given his experiences, Michael's stance on returning to 90 Day Fiancé is firm. He will not come back unless significant changes are made. Sources say Michael is ready to involve lawyers to negotiate a new contract that guarantees fair compensation and proper treatment. This legal approach is a reflection of how serious he is about protecting his rights and ensuring that his return is on his terms. First and foremost, Michael wants to ensure he is paid fairly for his participation. During his earlier seasons, there were rumors that he was underpaid compared to other cast members, a situation compounded by Angela's control over their finances. I'm going to ask our immigration lawyer, Lou, to draw me up a will because I trust him to make sure everything gets done the way I want it. Michael is determined not to make the same mistake twice. His legal team is expected to push for a substantial increase in his appearance fee, a portion of any merchandise or sponsorship deals, and a more equitable distribution of the profits generated by the show's immense popularity. But fair compensation is only part of the equation. Michael also insists on being treated with respect and dignity throughout the production process. This includes having a say in the editing of his scenes to ensure he is portrayed fairly, rather than being cast in a negative light to create drama. He wants assurances that he will not be subject to any form of mistreatment by Angela or any other cast members, and that the production team will take immediate action if any such incidents occur. 
One of Michael's most non-negotiable conditions for returning is that Angela must be removed from the show. For Michael, this is not just about his personal comfort, it's about creating a safe environment free from the toxic dynamics that defined his previous experience. Angela's presence, he believes, would make it impossible for him to return in any meaningful way, as her abusive behavior was the primary reason for his departure. Michael has made it clear that he does not want to be put in a situation where he has to interact with Angela or be subject to her wrath again. This is not an unreasonable demand, given that her behavior towards him has been consistently hostile and abusive. He wants to protect himself from the stress and potential trauma of facing Angela in a confrontational environment, especially when there is a history of physical and emotional abuse. Moreover, Michael's request for Angela's removal is also rooted in his desire to reclaim his narrative. For too long, his story on 90 Day Fiancé has been dominated by Angela's overbearing personality and her unrelenting quest to control him. By asking for her to be excluded, Michael is asserting his right to share his own journey without the constant overshadowing of Angela's drama. He wants his return to the show to focus on his personal growth, his future plans, and his new life away from Angela's toxicity. Michael's conditions have put TLC in a difficult position. On one hand, they understand the value of having Michael back on the show. His gentle, likable nature and his journey of self-discovery have resonated deeply with the audience. However, Angela, for all her faults, has also been a significant source of drama and controversy, which are the lifeblood of reality television. Cutting her from the cast would undoubtedly remove one of the show's most polarizing figures, potentially impacting viewer ratings and engagement. Nonetheless, TLC also has a responsibility to its cast and crew. Angela's behavior has become increasingly problematic, and there are genuine concerns about the impact of her actions on the show's reputation and its ability to attract future talent. Recent backlash against Angela's violent outburst toward a TLC director only adds to the growing pile of reasons why her presence may no longer be tenable. The network is facing pressure not only from Michael, but also from viewers who are tired of the toxic environment that Angela often creates. Behind closed doors, negotiations are reportedly underway. Michael's legal team is in discussions with TLC executives, outlining his terms for a potential return. The network is weighing the pros and cons of each demand, considering how best to manage the situation to maintain the show's appeal while also ensuring a safer and more respectful environment for all participants. TLC is also reportedly exploring alternatives for Angela's replacement. They are considering bringing in new couples with compelling stories or featuring more of the other existing cast members who have strong fan followings. This could help fill the void left by Angela's departure while keeping the show fresh and exciting. For Michael, the potential return to 90 Day Fiancé represents more than just a professional decision. It is an opportunity to reclaim his voice and his narrative. He wants to show the world that he is more than just Angela's husband, he is his own person, with dreams, ambitions, and a life beyond the shadow of an abusive relationship. Michael hopes that his return will allow him to highlight his journey toward healing and personal growth. He wants to share his new aspirations, such as building a business, starting a family, or pursuing further education. By coming back to the show under the right circumstances, he aims to inspire others who may be in similar situations, showing them that it is possible to move on from a toxic relationship and build a better future. The audience reaction to the news of Michael's possible return has been overwhelmingly positive. Fans have taken to social media to express their support for Michael, praising his courage for standing up against Angela's abuse and advocating for fair treatment. Many have called for TLC to meet his demands, with some even threatening to boycott the show if Angela remains part of the cast. Viewers are excited at the prospect of seeing Michael in a new light, free from the drama and toxicity that Angela brought into his life. They are eager to see him rebuild, move forward, and possibly even find love again, without the constant shadow of his past relationship. His return is seen as an opportunity for a fresh start, both for him and for the show. As negotiations continue, one thing is clear, Michael is not willing to compromise on his conditions. 
He has made it known that he is only interested in returning if TLC can guarantee a safe, respectful, and fair environment. The ball is now in the network's court. They must decide whether they are willing to meet Michael's terms, remove Angela from the cast, and provide the assurances he needs to come back. Thank you for watching.